Hey guys, X here. How's it going? Welcome back to our next episode of American Truck Simulator. Alright, so this time we actually got a reverse load um, going from Ellie or Ely or however you say it. It's a little three little wonder. Uh, back up to Elko. Alright, so again we're here with our MNT trucking and uh, I remember before I was talking about the, the fuel tax stamps uh, at that way station. So if you look at the side of the truck here, you're going to see like little colored squares on the side of it and that's what it is. That's the uh, the fuel tax stamps right there, that green, red, and blue one. Alright, so um, yeah, so we're going to get ready to, uh, to jump right into the game here. Now uh, also what I was looking at this one thing that I wanted to uh, hit on is you know a lot of people like the look of the you know the American trucks with the long nose that's what we call them long nose trucks uh, <coughs> sorry um, you know with the the exhaust stacks and whatnot and like the one thing that I wanted to say is they're not always what they're cracked up to be so if we sit here and we look at this one when you're looking out your window if you look at the right side there I mean you got a pretty straight shot back whereas you look at your left one here you can even see it in the mirror there you got that big exhaust stack you know getting in your way so those are the type of things that you gotta decide when you're actually you know doing the truck you know practicality versus you no know, probability you know is it worth the looks to have a truck that's you know less functional you know so all right, so we're going to get ready to take off on our road to Elko here. We're at uh, Plaster and Sons uh, Building Supply. It looks like we got two Connex containers that were located or uh, transformed into offices with a little, like a little door and a window there. Uh, it looks like a little, either a standard or a little shorter than standard trailer, so it shouldn't be uh, too much. Now I know when we get back up to Elko, we'll have a really good chance there of being able to get a uh, one of those longer 65 foot trailers and we can start having some fun with them. Alright, so without further ado, uh, we will get it going on. So it looks like we got a, a little small jump to get out there on the highway then we're, uh, we're good to head back out there towards the interstate. And then we'll go ahead and get started with some stories. And there's our favorite little cop. So, trucker lingo. You guys ready to talk like a trucker since we're driving like truckers? Uh, cops are called bears. You know, and like, again, I get so immersed in this game uh, when, when I play it. Uh, I always call, you know... You know, the, the, the language just comes out sometimes, you know, and you guys may not always know what I'm talking about. So if at any point you hear me refer to the bear or, you know, that, like that, that's the, uh, those are our fine law enforcement friends there. And they got, you know, different variations of, you know, what we call them. You know, so, uh, yeah, like a regular bear. A regular bear is going to be your, your local law, you know, your... It can be used for any kind of law enforcement, whether it's your state patrol, your local police, your department of transportation, uh, you know, officers, they're all bears. You know, if you want to get a little bit more uh, specific, then you have what we call a, uh, a homegrown bear. You know, your homegrown bear are going to be your, your local law. You know, whereas your, your full grown is going to be your, you know, your, your state patrols or whatnot. You know, and then you have, um, you know, your bear in the air, your helicopters. Some states use, like, little Cessna planes to, to monitor speed on the highways. You know, so those are your bears in the airs. Then, like, you have your, your unmarked, uh, you know, patrol cars. You know, and, like, if it's white, you know, you say it's a bear wrapped in white, bear wrapped in brown, if it's a brown car, bear wrapped in black, so on and so forth. You know, so um, so if you ever hear me talk about a bear, you know, then that's it. Um, some other common language you'll hear me uh, refer to is a front door and the back door. So um, it could be interpreted two ways. So your front door, if you're in a convoy situation, is always going to be that truck up there on the very front. And your back door is going to be the truck on the very back. So we see here right next to us we have a, uh, it looks like just a regular Ford Crown Victoria. 
You know, but uh, you don't know I mean, if that's a cop. So if that's a cop, that would be a bear wrapped in white right there. You know, so that's what we're talking about when I say bears. Yeah, but your front door. Your front door is going to be your lead truck in your convoy. And your back door is the back truck in the convoy. Your tail truck. All right. Now, if you're talking solo like I usually do, then your front door is going to be the, you know, what's in front of your truck. And your back door or your six is going to be... Uh, you know the back of your truck there so if I say you drivers out there gotta be careful because the last thing you want is a bear coming up on your six there and writing you a ticket you know paying that fine or adding to that uh, that cash register that's what I mean all right and also uh, so some uh, little more little bits of CB language there for all you drivers out there uh, your way stations, the ones that we got to uh, preview and explore last episode. So the pre uh, the way stations, we call them things chicken coops. So if you have two drivers on uh, CB, which CB we also call them chatterboxes. So you got two drivers that are on the chatterbox. One driver may be telling the other, hey, they're northbound, uh, just so you know that chicken coop up there ahead of you and your 12 is going to be open for business you know watch your speed watch your weight and watch them lights you know so that's their way of telling you hey sir the way station in front of your vehicle is going to be open and uh, you better hope you are in compliance good sir otherwise you may uh, be in trouble with law enforcement so chicken coops way stations write it down all right, and cars. If you ever listen to uh, an American trucker, like they have some apps out there or some websites where you can actually listen in on the CB bands, right? You will always hear the truckers talking about damn goddamn four wheelers. That's what four wheelers are. Are your cars around you? You know, uh, there are a lot of times here in America they're inconsiderate to truckers. Which is kind of ironic because they think truckers are inconsiderate to them. <laughs> but nine times out of ten it's the other way around. You know, so we're whenever we're in the truck stops talking about, you know, our day or whatnot, we'll always be like, you know, them goddamn four wheelers. Alright, and the ambulances is, is, is which you will see in this game. Uh we call them meat wagons. You know, so if they say, hey, they're northbound, you got a meat wagon coming up on your six, make sure you keep an eye out. Then you know, hey, sir, uh, there is an ambulance approaching you from the rear of your vehicle. Uh, you don't want to make sure that you pull over and give him the right away. That was my regular non-trucker civilian interpretation for you. All right, uh, what else we have? School buses! <coughs> Ooh, don't get in dry there. So, school buses. So, go ahead and uh, think for a second uh, what we uh, what we call school buses. Well, you're probably wrong unless you're an ex trucker, anyway. So, school buses. What do we call them? We call them Twinkies. Why? Because tell me the shape of a school bus, especially the the cab over flat fronts. Tell me it doesn't look like a Twinkie, right? You know, and so some states they uh, they require school buses when loaded or have pa or they have passengers to have a white strobe on top of the lights uh, or on top of the roof going off. Those ones are the ones that we call the Blinky Twinkies. That's right. Or if a school bus has a lot of passengers in it, we call them Twinkies with cream or Twinkies with filling. You know, so same thing, you know, you know, trucker language. Hey there, driver northbound. Now, just so you know, you got a blinky twinkie coming up on your back door. And that's their way of saying, hey there, driver, good sir. Just to advise you that behind your vehicle, you have a school bus approaching with a blinking white light on top. So, just keep an extra eye out and just try to make sure we don't kill any of them passengers on board. All right. Driving through this town at night looks 
awesome. Gotta say. There's something that's weird. It's like, and that's one, uh, one of the things I, I liked about SCS, how they were able to find that good balance. So, I mean, part of the game is the grind and the drive. Coming out here on the road, you know, it's where you're not like having to negotiate a town every 30 seconds, you know, because then it just gets kind of overwhelming. You know, so you have your moments like this I mean, where it's literally just you and the road and all them pissed off four-wheelers I got behind me because I am only doing 60 and the speed limit is 70, but you know what? Nothing says I have to do the max of the speed limit. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cruise along fine here at 70. You know, but I mean, it's just that, you know, that serene, uh, you know, feeling. All right, we got to drop it down here to 55 and 35. Now maybe they'll uh, put a little distance between me and them. And be advised that those, uh, those bears will be setting up them traps here in town. I have seen them in town. And they will get you. So if you're going on these little U.S. highways like this, we're not necessarily the interstates, and you, uh, you go from that, you know, 70 to 55 to 30 or 35, you know, make sure you heed the uh, the speed limit warnings and you go ahead and, you know, lower your speed because the fines in this game are pretty hefty and they're not doing that for, you know, to be, you know, mean or whatnot. I mean, it actually very is very well researched because the outlook of, uh, you know, the, the DOT, the Department of Transportation and the officers here in America... Or that when you're out here on the um, on the road, you know, we take that title of professional driver. You know, and professional drivers know better than to go speeding down the highway. And it's not sitting here saying, oh, you know, we're, uh, you know, the whole higher standard. But it's just uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, when you're fully loaded, which a lot of times we are, you know, without any overweight permit or anything, I mean, we are in 80,000 pound missile going down the highway and these things do not stop on a dime <coughs> you know so if you're sitting there and you're not observing you know uh you know good follow distance or whatnot oh we didn't get pulled into the way station good thing chicken coop is closed folks chicken coop is closed um anyways no so you know if you're not observing you know proper following distance or you're speeding through the town and you rear-end someone, I mean, yeah, this is a game, and oh, and you turn those hazard lights on. In real life, you just killed whoever that was in front of you. And to be honest, you may get a little more than a couple of dents and the scratches on your truck, but I mean, that other car up there, I mean, they're dead. So like right here, like this guy is, you know, starting to slow down, so I'm going to give him that. You know, and I'm going to go ahead and slow myself down here so I don't uh, rear-end him, because in the end... He is a damn four-wheeler. Had absolutely no reason to slow down like that, but it is what it is. And we run into it all the time in real life. I mean, that's just the way it is. You get these amateur drivers out here on the road. You know, they're already you know, nervous, you know, as it is just driving up. Oh, holy shoot, we almost missed our turn. See, I get lost in conversation. I almost missed my, uh, my turn there, you know, yelling at that guy. And he's going right where I was, apparently. All right, so I got a standard trailer, but you know what? I'm still going to go ahead and uh, take both of these lanes. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, so you get these guys in these cars, you know, and you don't know their stories. You don't know if they had a bad day at work or, you know, or whatnot, because nine times out of ten, road rage, that's what it is. Something else pissed them off, and you're just adding to it. But you know, but it could also be, you know, they're really nervous, you know, what says they're a student driver, and it's bad enough, you know, they get nervous when they're surrounded by other cars, you know, but now you put this big monster of a machine next to them, you know, they look out their passenger window, and all they see is a big rubber tire rolling, you know, and that's it. So, I mean, you know, it really tends to freak them out, you know, because the size difference is enough to shake anybody up. You know, so that's, you know, I try not to badmouth the four-wheelers too much. Some drivers, they just don't understand that stuff. You know, and they're going to go ahead and sit there and bash them all day long, you know, until the end's done. But I try to be a little bit more rational when I, uh, you know, when I start proceeding to lay down the, uh, you know, the favorite words to my four-wheelers there and proceed to tell them that they're number one, if you get my drift. 
All right, so we're coming up to our destination here in Elko, Nevada. We're going to go ahead and uh, drop them off here, and we'll go ahead and rest down for a little bit. So that way we're ready for our next road. So again, we already went over the, uh, you know, what it's like when you come in. So we're always going to pick the hardest one. And you can also, if you get tired of selecting it every single time, you can go into your options and have it automatically select that hard one for you every single time. I don't personally like doing it just because um, I like to know if I'm doing the, the medium or the hard one. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull up here. And we got 40 experience points, so this is a medium. Oh, this is a, I, I would personally classify, oh, I can kind of see why they would say it's a medium because this is going to be a blind side back. So the side side is the side here of my door where I can stick my head out and see everything. That's what we call the side side. Your blind side is your passenger side there where uh, you got a ridiculous blind spot. All right, so this is going to be a blind side back. That's where your advanced maneuver comes in, your backing one. So we're going to go ahead and confirm. We see our spot is here, two stars. Now, we, we saw how we did it last time, so this is going to be just like that. All right, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and we'll get this puppy put right where she is. So just like before... I'm going to use all the space in the world that they will give me. So this is probably going to be one of your uh, your easier uh, blindside backs here. Because, I mean, you can already pretty much see that we're, uh, we're set up. So now what I'm going to kind of do is I'm going to turn that blindside into a side side. So by allowing myself enough room here, right, I can actually see my target where I want it to go. Oh, if I can get my trailer under there. And I'm going to kind of use my my tandems and the trailer and my drive axles here as a, uh, like, sights on the gun, if you will. See, now we do have that trailer over there on the other side, so it is going to be kind of tight, and we do got to be a little careful when we do this. So we can go ahead and get it right where they want it. And then we'll just take the angle right back out of it. Just like that, folks. There's a very basic back. So we come here. We see we're very well set up on our bounding box. I mean, that's pretty much a ideal uh, side side back. So... You know, here we have all this room over here to the left, you know, and I was going to go ahead and use as much of that as I possibly could, you know, but everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and drop off our trailer. Look at that. We're almost lined up the lines. Excellent, because I know I'm excellent, and hopefully I'm no longer a newbie. I'm still a newbie. All right, well, we can get that next episode. All right. Trip number two in the back. So we got it going good there. No incidents. You know, we had the medium back. So you guys got to see kind of what a hard back looks like in the medium one. And again, I mean, tell you what, next time we get a medium back, like a 41 like this, I'm going to go ahead and just do the easy one. <coughs> Sorry. So you guys can kind of get the idea and see what it looks like. Um, and then from there, like I said, whatever's on the top of that list, we're just going to keep doing it over and over again. Um, so like always, uh, you know, if you like what you see, you know, feel free to comment, leave suggestions down below, you know, any moans, goans, gripes, you know, complaints or anything else you feel like you want to say or anything you want to address here on the show. You know, like I said, this is our show. I don't want this to be me talking at you. I want you to actually be involved in it. You know, uh, so you know, we'll we'll eventually start getting up our our team speak set up here. Oh, look, I got one percent damage. No idea where it came from. Anyway, so we'll get a team speak, you know, set up here through the Pirate Bay Gaming Community. You know, I gotta give a shout out to my boys over there at Pirate Bay Gaming Community. You know, links are down below to to get with them. Really good group of guys. 
Um, so as always, drivers uh, out there, my fellow drivers, make sure you guys keep the pedal to the metal and keep that rubber on the road. And I'll make sure to catch you next time. See you guys later. X out. Hey guys, X here. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment below. And if you like what you see, tap that subscribe button. And also check out the channel for other videos and game series. Alright, till next time.